What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and today we are back. We are back for UPBA Season 6. This is week number one of, uh, of the season. I'm your coach for the St. John Sharpedos, as always. And as you guys can tell, we have a slight layout change uh, thanks to uh, Furret Turret. I'm pretty sure I got that name right. Uh, for uh, supplying the HD sprites uh, for the team that is currently above my head, which will be updated for every... Uh, basically, what's going to happen is that whatever mons I use for... Uh, for this particular battle, I will put in the sprite for, for them. It's just a slight little change because, you know, for a while it was just a blank space there. But I want to put something in there. So what better, what better spot, what, excuse me, what better thing to put in than the sprites for the team that we will be using against the Gamer777. I'm pretty sure there's only three sevens in his name. Of the Mega Adeno and her good birds. So, if you guys are excited, the Draft League Battles are back on the channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you guys get notified whenever I upload a new video. And just a little sidebar, thank you guys so much for supporting, uh, for supporting me over on Twitch. You guys are absolutely amazing. But enough about that. Uh, we're gonna go straight into it. I'm gonna let Gamer know that we can get the battle on our way, and I will see you guys in just a bit. Alrighty, we are here in the- we are here in the match, excuse me, uh, against Gamer. Uh, I'm just gonna tell, um, the usual, good luck, have fun, and all that. Alright, I have the battle over here, the calculator over here. Let's hope, <laughs> let's hope that we can get a win out of this because my god last season was just absolutely atrocious I really really want to you know I really want to uh, really want to get a get a win so let's ever notice I have a lot of <laughs> ever notice I have a lot of flying no <laughs> alright so let's start um the team that I started with uh, is, like, extremely, like, hyper, like, I, I tried to go hyper, uh, hyper offensive on this, um, because where he, he has a team of all birds except for his Mega Adeno, uh, so they have strong, where's the double road? <laughs> Apparently he was expecting me to bring the double road, Tom, not today. Um, I, he has, like, a massive weakness to, like, electric, rock, so I mostly brought, uh, and, uh, as well as ice, so I mostly brought that. Hopefully he, hopefully he didn't bring, like, gimmicks and stuff. More than likely he has. Um, I'm tempted to go, now he did bring, uh, Aerodactyl, which I expected. I'm almost tempted to just start into Gudra. That's what I'm tempted to. Um, I'm gonna start with Gudra. Okay. So, we got this again. Okay, so he didn't bring anything that's... He didn't bring anything that would be... Uh, that would resist it. But, like, right from the get-go, I could Ice Beam and Thunderbolt right now. Um, I'm just taking a look at the recording real quick. Okay, everything so far is good. All right. Um, the chance. I'm just gonna go straight into Thunderbolt because he doesn't have anything that really resists it, and I don't think Empoleon does either. Yeah, no, um, Ice Beam is the one that I need to watch out, so I'm just gonna go straight off Thunderbolt. He has Super Fang. Alright. You know what, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. 
Now, he did drop his speed. So I can just go straight for another Thunderbolt now. Or he might go into Adeno. If he goes into Adeno, I can go straight into uh, Tentacill. Go straight into Tentacruel and hit Acid Spray. If he does send out Adeno... Um, now, I know it's a Mega Adeno. Thunderbolt's only going to do 21 to 25%. Depending on what set he's using. So, I'm actually thinking about going into Tentacle. Or even, oh, actually, even if I go out into uh, Jirachi. If I go out into Jirachi, Iron, uh, Iron, Head's, <laughs> Iron Head's only going to do 31 to 37, but it's a lot more than the, a um, lot more than what Thunderbolt's going to do. Actually, you know what? Let's hit Thunderbolt. Thunderous. Okay. Um. Here's the. Th this is the Thunderous in car or um. Ethereum form. If if I bring out, if I keep. See, now would be a. Now would have been an excellent time if I had uh, Ice Beam. Um, in saying that, Jirachi does have HP Ice, but it will do just as, metal, just as much with Ancient Power. Um... I don't really know what to do here. Because the problem is that Thunderous is the fastest mon that he has. And because it's the fastest mon he has, I don't have anything that outspeed it. If I send out Rotom, if I send out Rotom, the, I can hit Overheat. Alright, let's go into Rotom. See what he does. If he hits Thunderbolt, I'm I'm good. If he hits, um, cause I don't think Thunderous would really have anything. I really don't think there's a Thunderbolt we which we resist. Excellent. Now, at this point. What are the chances that he's going to go out and Empoleon, say, if I hit um, Empoleon, or if I hit Overheat? I could. I could just hit Dark Pulse and see what he does. Why is Dark Pulse doing so much to it? I'm gonna hit Dark Pulse. I don't know why everything is giving me there. Okay, this is more like it. If I hit over E, as compared to Dark Pulse, I'm gonna hit Dark Pulse. Ah, I don't know. Here we go. Now, um, here comes the I don't know. If that's the case. Oh my god, I can't type. See, at this point, overheat would probably be the would be probably be the play. Or I could just straight up swap into uh tentacle tentacruel. Because more than likely he's probably gonna hit Wish. There's the wish. Alright, I'm gonna change the track real quick. Cause I <laughs> because I hit the rock station. Um
I'm just trying to think the best thing to do here. He's he's either going to protect or he's going to try and heal. Um, or he's going to try and heal Golbat. If he tries and hit Golbat, I can hit Ice Beam. There's the Ice Beam. We get the kill. Yes. Okay. Woo! Here comes Thunderous again. Now, Thun Thunderous doesn't does not. If he hits Thunderbolt, unless he crits, unless he crits, or he has um, um. I think I'm gonna go out into Rotom Heat again. Because he really can't do much to Rotom. I'm gonna hit Overheat. Um, because it's. Because I feel like that we're kind of in a stalemate like this so i'm gonna hit overheat he's pro watching now he's probably gonna go into empoleon now nope mega odd to know i am perfectly fine with this now she's probably gonna hit something <laughs> i don't know what she could possibly hit here um probably wish again because i don't because i don't know doesn't i don't know only really only plays a support role except with uh besides like knockoff for example that's like the only like good <laughs> move that it really gets but i could go into jirachi if i goes out into to jirachi who right now i'm holding the uh Rocky Helmet. Either which way, I need to switch. Actually, you know what? I'm going into Tauros. If I, uh, so me going out into Tauros, uh, Iron Head is the best thing I can do. He might switch. But I could hit Iron Head. Because nothing, actually, you know what? He is going to hit Protect. I know he is. I know he's going to hit protect here. And if that's the case, uh, if he hits protect, that gives me a good opportunity to switch, say, into, uh, what can... Because he's going to hit protect. He's going to heal. If he's going to heal, I could go back into... Tentacruel? See, Acid Spray isn't going to do all that much. The only thing it really does is it guarantees poison. Uh, guarantees poison. Or not that it... Uh, Loris says uh, special defense. So I could hit Acid Spray right now. Mm. Okay, there's the Empoleon. That's, that's actually perfectly fine. Um, what could I do here? Empoleon can't really. Oh, that's not the right Empoleon. Um, if this is strictly utility set, <sighs> K 
can Empoleon get rocks? He does have access to stealth rocks. Why could hit magic coat? Just see what he does. Ah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. I wasn't expecting that, but I, I was ex I was mostly expecting like the toxic or something, but that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. Um what can What can Tauros do here? Cuz I gave um Cuz I gave Tauros wild charge. If he has Skull, that's going to do a nice bit of damage, though. Um, I could go into Malamar. Because I do have Knock Off. Because he's going to waste a turn for that. No, I gave him Infiltrator. <laughs> Glad Syndrome? No, I gave it that for a... Uh, I'm going to hit Knock Off. There's, there goes the Wide Lens. He goes out in the Jump Off. Now, at this point, I could hit Rock Slide. I could hit Rock Slide here. Really? Sleep Powder? If that's the case, he's probably going to go out into Odd to Know. Okay. Um, I could go out into Twank. Um, or go out into Gudra. Because more than likely, he's going to swap into Adeno. He swaps into he swaps into Adeno. Oh, excuse me. Like, he swaps out in the odd to know. Um, it gives me basically a free iron head against him. Here comes the Empoleon, which, you know what, is perfectly fine because I have Wild Charge. Yes, I'm going to be hit with recoil. Oh, that that amount of damage though. <sighs> On the plus side, I'm faster, so I could theoretically hit rock slide. Or I could go wild charge. If for some reason I crit, it get, does have a chance of kill. I'm going to hit Wild Charge. Wow, that's a really... That's a really beefy... Uh, Empoleon. Now, he's hitting Scald, so I could go into Tentakill. What happens if I go out into Jirachi? Thunderbolt isn't going to do much. I'm gonna hit Rock Slide. And I miss! Of course I miss! <laughs> of course I miss. Um. Now that gives me an opportunity to send a Rotom.
All right, I'm gonna. Um, why don't I send out Malamar here? Malamar, I could hit and knock off. But the only problem is that he's asleep. Uh, if I bring out Gudra, Thunderbolt will kill. Or at least I hope. I hope it will kill. Scald isn't really going to do much anyway. Um. You know what? I'm gonna send out Rotom. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Volt Switch. I'm gonna I'm gonna play like a little bit of a Switch game now. I'm gonna hit Volt Switch. Mega, I don't know. Now, I don't think... I'm pretty sure I haven't... Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't shown off... Um, Alright, now it's time that Jirachi's gonna come out. You bitch. Okay. Why are the ch what, are, what is he going to do? I could hit Ancient Power. I could hit Ancient Power or Thunderbolt. But I don't know what he's going to do. Okay, here comes the Ampoleon. Goes for the Ancient Power. No, I'm not I'm not even going to. Um I can just straight thunderbolt it. Oh, we got the para. Now, what are, now what is he going to do now? Um, it's more than likely he's going to swap out to Adeno. No, he still has his item. Just gotta hope I wake up. 
Oh! Magnets? Why does he have a magnet? I mean, I wasn't expecting him to have it. Um... No, a Thunderbolt from a Thunderous isn't going to do all that much now. I could hit Rock Slide, I could go for another knockoff, I could go Psycho Cut. Or I could hit Foul Play. Foul Play might be too risky though. Yeah, there's a Mega Agno. <sighs> I can't type today. Like, I could go Psycho Cut. There's a Wish. He's gonna hit Protect. Either he's gonna hit Protect, or I'm gonna hit Rock Slide. I just gotta hope I hit it. Yes, flamethrower. Um. All right, let's go. Psycho cut. And there's the wish again. If he does that, I could go out into Twink. I can go into Jirachi. The only problem is I no longer I no longer have an item. That's the only problem. Now all this time I haven't been using Gudra. Um. Actually, I'm going out in Jirachi. Here comes the Empoleon. Now, the the only thing about Empoleon is that... Oh, I, I do... He does have... Um, I did give him that. Um, let's go Thunderbolt. Ooh! Um, now what are the chances that he's going to go in the Mega Adeno again? Because if he does, I could go Iron Head. Iron Head isn't going to do much here. But if he swaps in the Mega Adeno, which I'm really thinking he's going to, Iron Head is the kill. Is the call. Thunderous. <sighs> now a, thun a thunderbolt from a thunderous isn't gonna is not gonna kill. Um, it's not gonna kill unless he crits. Because the only move I've seen him use was thunderbolt. I'm gonna hit HP Ice. Mm, we live! Yes! Now, here's the next problem. Here comes the Aerodactyl. The problem with Aerodactyl is that... I don't think I have anything for it. Gudra isn't going to be able to take anything. Malamar might be the only thing. Now, in saying that... 
The only thing that Malamar would would not be able to take from what I'm seeing here is a Stone Edge. If he if he has it. I'm gonna hit Thunderbolt. I know I'm gonna die. Yeah. This pursuit though. Um, Rotom is definitely not going to do it because of his, of the, because of the fire type. Um, the only thing is that, what can Tentacruel do? If he has, see, if he has Stone Edge, it's going to kill. If he has Earthquake, it's going to kill. I think my best bet right now is going into Malamar. Because it's really the only thing he can live. Um, because the only... Mm, if I hit Foul Play, it's going to do a lot. If I hit Knock Off... Because more than likely he's banded. If he's banded, knockoff is the way to go. Z move. We live! We live on one! Oh my god! Wow! Now, he's dead now, though, but I know he's not banded. I know he's no longer banded, which is good. If I send out, if I send out Tentacruel, Earthquake isn't going to kill. If I send out Rotom, now that I know what he has... Stonage still has a chance to kill, though. That's the only problem. But you know what? I think it's at the point that I think it's fine that I can sack off Malamar. Um, I really do think Rotom is the way to go. The only problem is that if he has Aqua Tail or if he has Stone Edge. Uh, what if I go into Gudra? If I go into Gudra, I'm at 50.1%. Earthquake won't kill. I can hit Protect just to see what he's going to do. Or I can just straight up Ice Beam or Thunderbolt. There's a Rock Slide. We live! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! Now with Jump Pluff. Jump Pluff... I, s uh, I think Tentacruel is the best option here. Or maybe even Rotom. Actually, Rotom's the best option. Um, he's probably gonna go out in the now. Yeah. Um, I think I'm free to overheat. Because he's going to hit Wish. Because it's Adeno. And now I think might be a good idea for me to go out into Tentacruel. <laughs> Flamethrower. Um... Acid Spray allows me to lower his special defense. 
So there goes a special defense. He's probably going to hit protect. Because he does. Or he might go into Empoleon. If he goes out, if he does go out into Empoleon, Ice Beam isn't now. If I go out into... Actually, you know, I'm going to go into Rotom. Um, I'm going to hit... I can hit Volt Switch. Because he's probably going to hit Scald. I can go out into Tentacill. I think it's at the point that this is perfectly fine to do. Um, a Thunderbolt to an Adeno is going to do seventeen to twenty percent if he goes out into Empole. If he goes out into Empoleon, Empoleon's going to take. Take a lot. Because <sighs> he's he's he won't risk you hitting protect again. Because he didn't hit wish. So, his Adeno is either going to get bopped. His Adeno is either going to get bopped with a potentially 20, 42%. Oh, right, because I lowered his defense. Here comes the protect. That's perfectly fine. But... He's at a minus two. He's probably going to swap. More than likely. In which case, I could hit Acid Spray again, or he's going to, or he's probably going to swap. Let's just see what he does. And he goes down to Empoleon. I knew it. So. I'm going to hit Volt Switch. Boy, I got rapid spin. <laughs> um What what does I mean, Ice Beam will still do damage. I mean... <sighs> He 
He's probably going to hit Scald again. So, I'm sorry, Gudra, but you gotta go. And now I'm going to take the Time Garden to Rotom. And now the last time I hit Volt Switch, he did 54%. Thunderbolt is going to do more. I just need him to wake up. I mean, there's the wake up. I mean, I did what I could. It was, it was a, it was a fine game, but I mean, this was, this was a 61 turn game. This game went on way, way too long. Anyway, good game to gamer. Uh, long, longest game I've ever played. My god. So, thanks to Gamer for the... Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I played well. I made some real... I made really good predictions. Um, and it's... The game just went on for far too long, and because where I had I was running a team that had no recovery, there was eventually I was going to whittle down to nothing anyway. So good game to gamer. Uh, it was a good game. I just it is what it is. I don't like playing stall. I really don't, and that's exactly what this was. But anyway, good game to gamer, all that good wonderful stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up uh, because your support is greatly appreciated. Be sure to hit subscribe as well. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Chris at Chaos Gamer, and I will, excuse me, I will see you in the next video.